Argyle is a film that was directed by Matthew Vaughn. You might recognize that name from the Kingsman franchise, which he also directed. If you like the Kingsman franchise, I would say that there is a fair chance that you'll also enjoy Argyle, though I will say I definitely prefer Kingsman over this. It ultimately follows the story of Agent Argyle, who is a book character written by Bryce Dallas Howard's character, who is an author who writes spy novels, but there's something really, really unique and special about her spy stories. There's something about them that seems to predict the future, or at least there's a lot of coincidences that happen in the real world because of what she writes. She's then soon approached by an actual spy played by Sam Rockwell, who tells her that, yeah, there is something special about her books. She is predicting events that'll happen, so he suggests she keep on writing so that they can have more of an awareness of where the bad guys will be next, based off of what she'd write. Telling you any more about the story might end up spoiling you a little bit, but don't think like me, because I went into the movie thinking that it would be a stranger than fiction type of story. That's kind of what I got out of the trailers when I watched it. I was like, okay, there is a connection here. She's not necessarily predicting the future. There is an actual, you know, Agent Argyle. So here I am thinking, oh, she's probably writing things into existence and it's like stranger than fiction, but that is not the case. What's actually happening in this movie, which I will not spoil, is not something that I was entirely keen on. It's not that they didn't approach this idea well enough or explain it well enough. It's just that the actual execution of the film is overly convoluted. There's way too many things happening all at once. There's too many twists that happen in the film that don't make a lot of sense, that they just seem to be in there to be in there. I get that the idea is to kind of make some tongue-in-cheek jabs and self-aware humor jokes about spy stories, spy movies, spy books in general. And to that degree, I do think that it's pretty clever most of the time. But other times I'm left wondering what the heck is going on. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit too much, though I will say that the action of the film is pretty fun. If you're familiar with Matthew Vaughn's other series with The Kingsman, you already know how he has kind of a penchant to enjoy throwing in action scenes as much as humanly possible. And the same goes here and those fight sequences in this film. The choreography is great. The way that they're shot is great. There are some sequences and scenes in this film that are technically beautiful to look at, but I can't get past the fact that it's over convoluted and it's way too long. It's like two and a half hours for no real reason. If you already have a story that's convoluted, the longer the runtime, the more convoluted it becomes. And even though I had a lot of fun watching certain things about this film, certain jokes, certain action sequences, certain elements of the story, I can't really see myself re-watching it because of how it sometimes gets. Overall, I will be giving this a score of C+. For me, that means that's a pretty fair score, you know? There's elements of it that are very, very good, and then there's also elements of it that I just wish were better. But yeah, I would say the positive of the films, I would say it comes down to the choreography, the visuals, the editing at times, some parts of the music choices are pretty fun, but the story really is all over the place, and that's kind of the glue for an espionage spy story like this, comedy or not. If you want to see a good satirical movie about espionage and spies, I would suggest True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But yeah, guys, have you seen Argyle? If you have, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it kind of in the middle for you? Let me know and as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out. Argyle's in there.